Kalimera Mayam Buntag. Good morning to everybody, and we are finally, finally getting to the day. We made it to Starbucks. Sorry about that. We had a little dead battery problem, and uh, we got some fuel. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> and look at that. We're back at the house, and this is the final pack down. And it's the final pack down. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope it doesn't rain. Good morning. So. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Fun set. Whoa. You guys hear that? This is it. Fun set. It's kind of dark. Did, did we say good morning? <laughs> we did. Again. We, we, had our, uh, we had our morning in the RV and we got like a low bat. We tried to squeeze it in there. Kalimera Mayam Buntag. Morning. What was your other one? Your other good morning I like better. <laughs> I need some coffee or something. Give that, give, give Melissa a good good morning. She's the one that compliments you all the time. She goes, if you stop doing good mornings like that, I'm gonna come to the Philippines and find you. Yeah, so. we'll see you soon. And your mom, your yeah. What should your good good morning be? Get your, you want a little sip of coffee? So you can good do your morning. Good. Okay, good. Like a rooster, bro. Da. So we are here we are at the old house. And like we said, this is the day of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. But actually, I mean, this is just the beginning. I don't know, but I am chill. It's cold. This, this, is, this girl. It's this crazy. girl gets so cold. It's like 65 degrees. It is cold. My goodness. So anyway, we did our last packing yesterday. It was crazy. Good thing we did not have a sore. Like, how was your back? My back is not great, but it could be worse. So I need happened? some tape. This thing got. Oh no! Goes around there. And what happened? This great metal grate. Oh shit! So we gotta tape up the corners okay. of that box. Good. Look at that. Damage already. Oh um, no. So yeah, we're just here waiting for the big jack. Where are you? <laughs> we're one hour early. What the heck? <laughs> we're so excited. <laughs> big diesel 40 footer coming down this little cul-de-sac road. It's gonna oh be crazy. Oh my gosh. Yep. So it's last minute. We have to charge Never an extra, mind. extra driver charge for, yeah, for because... driving in a residential as uh -huh. opposed to commercial, uh -huh. which I think is kind of makes sense even though they're good in tight spots. Yeah. In a commercial, they charge you extra for doing residential. Uh, it's always because surprise. Oh my gosh. So. Anyway. Yeah. We're here waiting and we just can't wait and load it up and we'll see how it goes. Aja! <laughs> so yesterday we came here and we did our last packing and more stuff that we we grab and put it here. But that two washing and dryer is not ours. And also we did I uh, know we did assemble the the play set so it's easy to load and unload. So it's right there over there and yeah so we are pretty early like it's 8 a.m the big truck will be here in about an hour and Tess is bucking up because we gotta get the what is this the the land mower that one for his dad perfect timing that um, we have movers so hopefully they can pick it up and put in this trailer so yep that is the plan and I'm chill how many times I'm gonna say I'm cold I'm cold <laughs> Let's see what it looks like in here. So here are all the stuff in the one garage. It's all packed guys. It's all packed. <laughs> Let's see what it's in here. Hello. It's too dark but more boxes and more boxes. Boxes I'm a, everywhere. I'm a little bit concerned because the guy did say, okay, these guys are experienced loaders of ocean freight, right? And I'm like, we live in the Midwest. The ocean's so far away, of course not. But they're good experienced packers, so we're just going to mediate that and See how it goes. Yeah, we're glad that uh, we have some movers, so we don't want to right break Hello. our packs or something. Oh my and also, the shipping company only allow us for two hours, or unless we're gonna pay hourly. So that's probably be done in about an hour or so because we got four guys to move. So that would be should be pretty good. Yep. Yeah. It's all I ready think to so. Run. so yeah, here we are waiting. The big truck's coming that way to here. We're gonna call the movers. The truck's gonna show up. Hopefully the movers are already here. And let's get to loading. Yep. Exciting, exciting day. 25 minutes left, guys. And we're like getting all super nervous. It's crazy. You're like, you know, because I don't know why. The big truck's coming. The moving oh guys gosh, are coming. Oh my gosh, my face is so and white again. So beautiful. She does not use whitening soap. All you Filipinas out there, stop using the whitening soap. <laughs> wow. Foreigners like... Are you the husband of them too? Mm -hmm. Ask your husband. I guarantee he will agree with me. Husbands, what do you think? Do you need your Filipina to use skin whitening cream? Yeah. I want to know. Sometimes. We want to know. All right, so the Jomo Movers, that's Joplin, Missouri Movers showed up. Uh, that's the four guys that help. I don't know why they brought a big old truck, but because we got our truck coming. All right, Jomo Movers is getting a little jump on the move so we can see what we got. Put the, some of the boxes over here on the side and 
over here on the side so we can uh, just be that much more ready when the big truck gets here. Our plan is to do a super clean, nice, organized load and we're gonna take all these Home Depot boxes, keep them together, put those inside on the sides, if I didn't say that already, and it's gonna be a nice, spacious pack with the 40 foot trailer. All right, the sun came out. Does that mean we have a bright future? Oh my God, the truck has arrived. Check that out. There it is. Holy shit. It's gonna be a tight fit. That's a big diesel truck, but he's gonna get it in right there to the back. So let's see how, how that's done. Put this camera back here so I can give him some guidance. We got a little crooked, didn't we? <laughs> Made it in. We're just waiting on the ramp and then it'll uh, get loaded up quick and easy. Until then, it's climbing and, and sitting. The pool table is going to be the funnest. Tracy! Hi. Hello. Hey, hey. bye. Yeah, what are you doing, Trace? Really? I want to know. No, well, you can help me write a check. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> so maybe not that kind of help. Exactly, go on the side a little bit. Take a picture of I'm paying him either way so it won't break your back. I'm going to do the light thing. I'm going to light it. Yeah. It's a bad habit. <laughs> oh, <she did>. oh, <laughs> you can see the yellow shirt easy. You said yellow? <laughs> yellow. 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 And um, I don't know what else what it does, that? but it told me it's important. The load seal. Oh, what is it's that? a lo the load seal. It's important for the in to be sealed after it's loaded. Uh, I guess uh, security reasons. Or I don't know. But we'll find out. Code quick. Oh my goodness! Almost forgot to wrap the vase. Let's do a bu quick bubble wrap of the of the vase real quick. All right. The guy showed up with the ramp when they're halfway done. We're looking good. We're probably about 25% done and about 25% full. So good thing we got the extra space. That's a good looking ramp right there. It's been one hour and we're halfway there. So shout out, hi babies. <laughs> I love you, I miss you.
guys caught that. We just did the pool table lift into the back of the truck. That was crazy. Super heavy. I think Micah's inside. Let's go. Let's go see what the girls are doing real quick. Let's do that. That's gonna be fun. Just in here relaxing, getting ready to eat some Filipino food. All right, let's see what that is. What's going on in here, guys? Uh, what is up? We got the pool table in. All right. Yes, you guys, they saw it. Everybody saw it. It was a heavy, hard deal, but we got it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Let's finish it up. We've got 15 minutes. We'll be knocked out. Look at this girl. So gorgeous. Mai, have I told you you're gorgeous today? Really? Oh, really? I think I just shot the floor. Now, this girl is so gorgeous. Look at her, administrator, corporate boss. Did you get your boss lady me? What is it? Almost done? Oh my Almost gosh, done. got a few stuff in here, guys. Almost it's, done. It is real. It is real, it's happening. <laughs> Don't forget the swing swing ball. Of course not. We got the swing swing over here she keeps talking about. If you guys saw that before. Right here. It's already taken apart from yesterday. We took it apart. I didn't even need to take the top off, it would have fit. Cause we got a high cube. Let's see. Was I right or wrong? Is the painting table gonna fit? Uh, oh no! I got you. Whatever you gotta do. Hey, Chismosa. Hi. How come there's so many junk in there? Junk, right? That's not junk. The experience packer here said that we would have been able to get it in a 20 foot, but it would have been difficult, stacked to the ceiling and tight, but it would have made it. No, I don't think so. He said no, experience packer says yes. Really? <laughs> yeah, I told you. I said yes too, if you remember. I said it'd be difficult. We'd have to break some stuff down, yeah, but it would have made it. Yeah, 20 high cube. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that clay possibly threw you off a little bit. But. Yeah. Right in the playhouse, we could have broke it down, broke down the shelving. Who would have made it? But, but just to be safe, better safe than sorry, because otherwise we'd have been leaving stuff behind, and that's a long ways to travel without your things. What do we have left? A small futon, the bed frame, a picnic table, a few personal belongings. There's shoes. Shout out to the brother who was saying, yeah, Filipinas love shoes. That's correct. All women in general, but Filipinas extra. And play structure. Almost. We did beat the rain. It's like a cloudy day, and looks like like the breeze and the smells of rain. It's supposed to rain later today, but we beat the rain. Am I, how do you feel? You excited, baby? Super excited, baby? Almost done. I can't wait. I know. All right, two hours later, and we're 99.9% .9 packed, throwing in some low bars. And look at that, we could almost fit in a, a smart car. <laughs> but they will tax you on that, so no smart cars going in there. What else can we put in here last minute? Oh, I think we're out, we're out of time, out of money. That's it. I said that uh, too bad we couldn't stop and get something, but we're out of time. We're out of money. I mean, Cebu. Cebu will be there, yeah. Right. Yeah, we made it. You done? We got that deal on there. Nothing else last minute, right, baby? That's it. We're locked and loaded. Good job, guys. Thank you. All right, we are locked and loaded. Let's go. All right. My wife's leaving me, taking all of my things. Joke, we're gonna go, we're gonna meet him up later. Uh, waiting for this diesel truck to pull off, say goodbye to all our things, and we will see him in Cebu, and it is crazy, we did it. So, make it or break it. Here we go, we can say bye to them. Bye-bye, and bye-bye. I'm gonna help her guide her out here, so she don't get ran over. All right, check it out. All right, so, let's go. We will see our things in the Philippines. What a long, awesome day. Glad we can get everything packed up. And uh, tomorrow's our day, we're going to Kansas City. And um, we just wanted to say goodnight. Mike has passed out cold. She had a long, long day today. And uh, we just want to say goodnight from the V family, and we'll see you in our next vlog.